Hey guys, what is up? This is Carr with Delvi Films, and today I have a cool tutorial on how to create a fake UFO video. Now, I didn't have a lot of time, so uh, criticism uh, lenient on my poor uh, UFO video, but I it wasn't turning out the way I wanted it, and I realized that I would have to spend another hour on it to make it look awesome, so I ended up turning it into a parody video, which you could use something like this a lot with parody videos, but uh, here it is. <laughs> There we go. It's uh, it's kind of like when Mars attacks. If you ever seen that video, or not the video, the, uh, the movie. It's got, yeah, that dude in it. Crazy, crazy aliens. It's the one movie that actually. Scared me half to death when I was a kid. We yeah. come in so that's that. Alright, so open up After Effects and we will get started with this. Uh, all of your footage, just import all that stuff in. Um, for the UFO, I just googled UFO on Google, obviously and uh, found one, cut it out in Photoshop. Now, if you don't have Photoshop, you can always use GIMP, some free service like that, and that will work just fine. All right, so we have our footage. What we're first gonna wanna do is go Layer, New, Null Object, and just go ahead and name it something like Default, or Default Track. And then go ahead and pull up your tracker. And we're going to click our footage. And we're going to go to track motion. And also click rotation. And now what we're first going to want to do is we're going to try and find two points that stay consistent throughout the video. Now it's important to know this when recording your footage. Because if you already have this in mind when you're recording, it's going to make your life 100% easier in post just because you've already set your footage up to actually be trackable. So that place looks good. And then let's go ahead and try and make this a little bit bigger. Zoom on out. And I'm going to go ahead and click this tree over here. So that looks good. We're going to go ahead and play it. And after this tracks, I will meet you all back. Alright, that should be good, and go ahead and click apply to the default track. Now what it has done, it has tracked the movement of our camera completely. So whatever you put in the scene, it's going to stay in the scene and look like it's real. I mean, you can put uh, explosions, you can put uh, cars, tanks, you put a giant Hogwarts behind these trees, or other planets or just just whatever you can think of you can do it now that you've tracked all this but today we're gonna be focusing on UFOs so let's go ahead and get to that so we're gonna bring in our UFO ship and drop it in there and we're gonna scale it down to the proper scale where it's gonna be uh, starting let's see right about here so let's go ahead and scale it down a little bit more and let's put it behind the trees over here or on the trees and we're gonna go ahead to the parent and we're gonna do default track or you can use the pick whip tool and go default track either way and so now Look at that, it's actually staying in the same spot that we put it. Awesome. Alright, so now that we have that, we're going to go to the end of our keyframing, or tracking. We're going to move it all the way over here. We're also going to scale it on up. 
because when things fly towards you, they usually get bigger. So then you're going to go and highlight the scale and right click it, go to keyframe assistant and exponential scale. Now what does this do? Well exponential scale is when you want to mimic sort of a camera zoom, you do exponential scale and it makes it look a little bit more natural and more realistic if you do it that way rather than just doing keyframe zero keyframe 100 over here it just it gradually gets bigger and it just it makes it look a whole lot uh, just realer alright now we're gonna drop down on the UFO layer and we're gonna go ahead and click rotation we're gonna click alt rotation and we're gonna enter a simple expression which is wiggle open bracket point two uh, comma three or four and then close bracket and what this has done is it's made it a little bit more realistic I guess because uh, now what's happening is the the ship is actually wobbling as it goes and it's a very subtle effect but it makes it look a little bit more real and more you know aerodynamic and more of that UFO vibe that you're getting from it and it's actually not wiggling enough for me so I'm going to increase it to like 5 yeah, a little bit more That look good. All right, next thing, we want to create our uh, lights on the UFO. So let's go ahead and go new layer, new solid, and that's okay. Uh, go effect. Well, actually, not effect yet. Uh, click the eyedropper tool, and so you just hide it, and then we're just gonna zoom in and. We're going to take the masking tool and just figure out where you want to put the light streaks. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, fit it back up. You can see everything. And go effect, uh, generate, and go stroke. And now, before we mess with anything right here, we're going to take the pick whip tool down here and we're going to pick whip it to our UFO ship layer. Now, what does this do? Well, whatever we, uh, whatever movements we cause this layer to do, or wherever it's going to go, this is going to follow it. And it's now parented to that and will do and follow wherever that UFO goes. Alright, so we're going to now go to color and pick a nice green color. And increase the brush size and go down here to paint style and go on transparent and now we can clip the eyedropper and that's a little bit too big so let's lower that a little bit now watch this now that we've parented it it is following it exactly all right to make it flash what you want to do is create a new solid then uh, hide hide it again and we're going to scrub on through to where it's right about here so I can see it a little bit better now we're going to go over here to the rectangle tool and we're just going to do one right here and one right here alright now we're going to go down to the uh, the light beam layer and we're going to go to the track mat and go alpha mat on it. And what this does is these little masks right here, uh, wherever they aren't, uh, it will cut. So now we can animate it to, let's say, let's start it right here. Let's go over and then right there 
And I'll just go back a little bit and let's animate it back here as well. Start from right here, go up a little. So let's see what we got now. And you can get really creative with that and uh, try a bunch of other stuff with it. You animate it better than I did, but this is a tutorial and I'm just trying to be very quick with it. Alright, so the last part that we need to do is when it's over here, let me see where the, our track starts. Our track starts right about here. Well, when it starts right about there, it's just on the trees. And it's not coming from behind the trees. So we need to fix that. So we're going to go to our bottom layer, and we're going to duplicate it. And then we're going to go ahead and bring it up here above our UFO layer. And then what we're going to do is go Effect, Color Correction, and we're going to go to Colorama. And immediately your footage should look like this and really funky. So navigate over here to input cycle or in input phase and then go to or actually I'm sorry go to output cycle and go to user preset palette and go to ramp gray and should, everything should look gray and then navigate over here to the color wheel and click right around here just click it and this should come up now use this and go all the way to black and then everything everything should be black or similar to this and now what you're going to want to do is just toy around with this until you have the trees and everything except for the sky black And that's pretty good right now, but I still have a lot of black in my sky. So I'm going to go ahead and click and create another white. And mess around with that a little bit. And that looks perfect. Okay. Now that you have that, you're going to want to go to... Uh, the UFO ship layer uh, but first uh, use the eyedropper tool and just hide that layer but then go to the UFO ship layer and then go to track mat and go luma mat so now what we have just done is actually uh, made made this the ship go behind the trees like that and again you can use this to put anything you want behind these trees alright so there we go that is how to do a UFO uh, fake UFO video and also how to put stuff behind trees so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, thank you for watching uh, please subscribe for more tutorials and more awesome short films that we do. Uh, you can also follow us on Twitter, which will be appearing on the on the uh, screen in a little bit. Uh, just uh, you can uh, follow what we're doing, uh, what we're recording, what new tutorials are coming out, a bunch of other new cool stuff. Um, I hope to see y'all be y'all doing a lot of fake UFO videos and a lot of fake UFO parodies. And uh, you never know, I might even. Uh, post some of them on the channel so uh again thank you uh please remember to comment rate and subscribe